tell me I don't look like every bad boy in all the Disney movies and the movies. <laughs> I've even got spray paint. All I'm missing is either a skateboard or a surfboard. Like, I am about to get into trouble. Hey. <laughs> okay, we're starting off spooky season, right? If you've been on TikTok at all, you have possibly seen the moon here. If not, I get that too because TikTok is a really good way of only showing you videos that they think you would like. So if you're not interested in DIY home decor, maybe you haven't seen it. I want one. So we're going to be making one. And of course, I immediately went on Michael's and was about to start buying supplies. And then I went, wait, hold up. You probably have all of the supplies already. And I do. <laughs> I'm talking, look, I got a circular mirror. I got bucket of concrete. Oh, I have spray paint. We've established that. <laughs> it's for plastic, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Most people haven't used straight up concrete for this, I don't think. Maybe some of them have. I'm using concrete. So I just wiped down the mirror with a wet ones wipe, and I drew out this beautiful circular piece of paper that we're holding down with a rock. We're going to tape it to it and choose the size of our crescent moon we're gonna be doing today. So let's do that. I'm probably gonna be squatting the whole time. So my legs are going to get sore. It's inevitable. Anywho, I'm gonna work on picking placement for my moon and tape it down. I think I'll switch to a time lapse for that so my camera lady can get a nice break for me and we can just hang out. I stood up too fast and now I'm lightheaded. If I wore my, my aviator glasses, I would kind of look like Bob Ross. Actually, I'd look more like Bob Ross, which daughter. Look, we taped it off. It wasn't really sticking very well, but like, I don't think it's that big a deal. But this is the moon shape we're going for. I'm gonna go for it. Hope the spray paint sticks. Yep. Oh, it. <laughs> is strong. It's done. This is more so to be a base layer for the concrete to stick to. It says it dries in 15 minutes or less. I stood up too fast again. I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and we'll start trying to add the concrete to it. Yeah, 15 minutes, bye. We're back. It has not been 15 minutes, it's been two hours. Just two hours, like that. I got a vlog edited though. It is much colder now, and I am much more tired, and I'm also much more hungry. <laughs> so, we have to also work quickly because we have about one hour of actual daylight left. Let's hop to it. Okay, now that we're situated again, this is completely dry now. And this is a bucket of cement. <laughs> there, I got it. So here's the plan. I'm gonna scoop some of it out. So, ooh, that's weird. Okay. It smells like nothing. I wonder how long this takes to dry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my fork. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, grass keeps getting on this and it's gonna drive me insane. Okay, I'm doing it. It's weird. Okay, that doesn't feel like it's gonna stick at all. I'm trying to refrain from using my fingers because I know this is going to ruin my nails. It also looks edible, does it not? Kind of, except the color's not too appealing. Okay, everybody listen to this noise. Really, that isn't appealing. It just looks like icing. Okay, I'm gonna try to smooth this out. I feel like whenever I watch DIY videos, they have like a whole setup and it's all professional. And then there's me with a plastic fork. Also, in my defense, I don't normally use one-time use utensils, but I didn't really wanna risk it with this, like ruining an actual fork. I will try to wash this off though after so I can recycle it. This texture is just gorgeous. Nobody cares about me squatting. I'm digging this. I'm really digging the texture. Like this is looking like moon. So you might be wondering why I consider this spooky season content, but come on, it's a moon. I feel like moons are very like spooky. Can you see my moon necklace? You see it? Yep. 
we see it. <laughs> I wore it because it goes with it goes. Okay, I was born on almost a full moon, which kind of proves my point where I think I am a werewolf. One, I'm extremely hairy and I grow claws. Like this video if you think I should transform myself into a werewolf. Okay, I think we're almost covering it. And then I think I'm just gonna kind of play with this till I find a look with it that I like. Right now I'm gonna go kind of around the edge. Ooh, plot that somewhere. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the texture now. Well, the coverage, not the texture, the coverage. And now I wanna work on the texture. I have this thing, but I have just a plain old paper cup that I was thinking of trying to make some craters with. I'm gonna go ahead and mark one, but only just a half of one. And let's see how that works. That's kind of cratery. I'm gonna just be brave and use my fingers. And then I'm gonna do a big old crater over here. I'm just making sand castles at this point. I'm gonna, that didn't work. I'm gonna twist it up and then smooth it down. Try to kind of build it up. See, that looks more cratery. The nice part is they don't need to be perfect circles because they're not perfect circles. I'm gonna use this, make a bunch of little ones. Now we're getting moon-like. See, it's the tiny circles that make the big difference. I'm gonna make one over here. I'm kind of marking them off and then messing with them a little bit more. They don't look very good at first. If you've ever seen any of my sculptures, it takes a certain level of patience with every single one of them. So this is like basically an instantaneous thing. I'm used to putting in months of work and this is like happening within a couple hours of work, which is insane to me. And also this is gonna be difficult because I am a perfectionist, yay. I washed my hands off with a wet one wipe. But look, I mean, I think I kind of nailed the texture. I don't know about you, but I think that actually looks like the moon. If you've ever taken a serious art class and or are burdened with being an art student, normally when you make something, you kind of don't like it. And then maybe a year later after finishing that piece, you're like, wow, it's actually good. So I'm actually nervous when <laughs> something is good after I first finish it and I'm content with it. Art student paranoia, even though I'm technically graduated and not an art student, so I should be good at this stuff at this point, but I'm pretty happy with it. Don't think there's anything I need to change. Oh yeah, when I look at it from right here, right now, that looks like the freaking moon. Yeah, that looks like the moon. I mean, I am blind far away. Yeah, that looks like the moon. The next step would be to let it dry. But before I do that, I'm kind of tempted to peel off the paper and clean up the edge with this wet one wipe. So we're gonna very delicately do that while it's still kind of wet and I can fix it. Okay. That's actually pretty clean. A little spot here and there where I can fix it up. There's a tiny spider that I'm trying not to hurt. I'm pretty content with it. That looks pretty stellar. <laughs> stellar. I didn't mean to make that pun. I just think in puns. I'm just gonna delicately trace along the edge. There we go, that's a nice sharp line. I'm just gonna keep going the entire length. Getting it really sharp and clean. Oh, that was scary how it slipped. Ooh, I don't like what it's doing at the end. Can you hold it still? I don't like what it did at the end, but I don't know if it's that big a deal. To see like what spray paint kind of got stuck under there, wait to like remove that with nail polish remover after, cause it's coming off really easily, but I don't want to mess up the concrete. That looks like the moon. It seems like it'll actually be dry pretty quick. As it starts to dry, it'll probably get little cracks in it here and there anyway, which will only make it more moon-like, which I'm so excited for. Your hair looks really pretty in the sun right now. Thank you. <laughs> I washed it. I think I'll leave her till like 
the sun is clearly about to be gone. I'm so blind right now from the sunlight. <laughs> and then I'll move her somewhere. But for the most part, this wasn't a very messy project. And if you want one of these mirrors, buy a circular mirror send it to me. I have a bucket of concrete. Pay me some monies. We'll decide that depending on the size of the mirror and I'll make it for you. But I'm sure you could do all sorts of different sized versions of these and they'd all be cute probably. Hello. Different day. Different flannel. That's all that's really different. Um, so the moon mirror is dry. I'm touching it right now and it's not moving. One more thing. So I mentioned earlier in this video that give this video a like if you want me to turn my long nails into wolf claws. And here's this thumb. See it? See the length of it? Here's this thumb. I broke it last night and I measured it because I'm weird. And my nail was like just the white part broke off. Like, you know, the, the, the tip of the nail was over a quarter of an inch long. Probably by the time it's Halloween, they'll already be long enough by then. Okay, so I wanted to show you the moon mirror, not that it looks that much different from last time you saw it. Here's the grand reveal. Don't drop it. Ta-da! The concrete did crack a little bit, but I honestly don't mind because if you didn't know this, fun fact, the moon has moon quakes, just like the earth. I went in and I cleaned up the edge of the paint with just nail polish remover and I think it looks nice. And I can't wait to hang it in my room, which I'll actually kind of be redecorating-ish. Like I'm just gonna be rearranging my room. Instead of adding more decorations other than this one thing, basically moving things into other rooms because right now there's just too many things going on and it's overwhelming my eyeballs, which then therefore overwhelms my brain. I'm gonna probably take some cute selfies with it now. I wore my phase of the moon earrings today. But I think that concludes the moon mirror video. I'm very happy, definitely suggest this craft 10 out of 10. And if you want one, message me and send me a circular mirror because I have all the other supplies. <laughs> I just like seeing the reflections in it. L like this video if you want, subscribe if you want to see more content that probably has nothing to do with this. I just do what I want here and um, yeah, bye.